Hi guys, it's Hayley. I'm here with another process video today. I'm mainly using the Dear Lizzie polka dot party papers. Now I cut this on the silhouette machine in white cardstock and while I was watching TV or YouTube I think actually, uh, while I was watching YouTube I put pieces of the pattern paper behind the negative space. So a lot of the papers I used in that were the 6x6 or scraps of my um, 12x12 but I just didn't think you really needed to see all of that because putting it on the foam and all of that does it takes some time and it's a bit tedious. It, I don't mind doing it while I'm doing something else, but I imagine you wouldn't want to see it. So, And it's quite obvious what I've done. So I just thought I would um, save you from having to sit through that. And now I am just changing my blade <laughs> and my um, trimmer, which I seem to always be doing. And I'm going to map my photo on this. This is from Polka Dot Party 2, this diagonal chalkboard looking stripe. This ends up being a really um, simple straightforward page and I'm not sure what from this point <laughs> to the end what, what the rest of this video is all about because these are pretty much the main pieces so I'm thinking what did I do for the next 10 minutes. Anyway this is a picture of me uh, after I had delivered Gabriella in hospital so and she's so cute and tiny and I look ginormous in comparison because I, I'm like it that isn't a selfie either that's just my husband because he thinks it's hilarious taking pictures like that really close up but it does show how tiny she is she was my smallest baby by quite a lot really by over um, two pounds so I just wanted to do this picture. I have done, haven't really done my birth stories, so I need to do those because they're written down. I haven't scrapbooked them. I want to do them, but really they're for the children for when they're probably adults. <laughs> they don't want to know this information before then. Um, so I'm not in any hurry to do it, but I should really do it because going back all the time, and I worry that I might lose the information that I have written down. So I have all these pieces of paper with all these stories on them that really need to be in a scrapbook, not floating around my scrapbook area. Now I'm just going through, I've used quite a lot of these products, but I'm of the Polka Dot Party products. So I just went through my other embellishments before I started the video and just threw a pile of things together that were kind of that peachy, corally tone and uh, a few other bits that might match. So this is kind of what I do. I know some people um, start recording and then that's the first time they've looked at the piece of paper. They haven't picked a photo or anything like that. I really can't do that because that's not how I scrapbook anyway. I don't go, okay, here's this picture. Now what? I, do, I kind of have an idea of which collection I might use or if I'm starting from scraps, what colours I might use. I don't really rummage through my whole stash while I'm sitting there and because it takes a long time and I'd really rather have if I really want to use something and it's something obscure that I know I won't naturally lead myself to then I'll pull that out and start with that but uh, I like to have kind of an idea because I'm just, I, I mean, this could take, if I didn't do, do it that way, oh, it could take hours and hours and hours. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I can do that in an evening, sit there and just look for things, but it's not something I'd want to record or narrate. <laughs> Imagine narrating it. Oh, my goodness. So I know these things go together, but I've also got a few things there that are not from the collection. That wee tag that I've tucked in behind the picture, that is from the Polka Dot Party and I'm going to try and um, adhere it so that whenever I adhere a tag, let me explain, whenever I adhere something that I want to pull out, 
I always try and stick the tape so that it's a secure pocket so the pieces of tape are around in the three spots that would hold that tag instead of it sliding down behind or whatever. Does that make any sense at all? Oh look here I'm doing it here. I would always, although I end up having to move this because it butts right up against my other foam stuff. So I would always like encase the tag so it will sit exactly where I want it to sit. I do that even when it's not with foam if it's with I don't just have them willy-nilly floating around because it's not my style. So I end up having to move this because then I've realized yeah see <laughs> not a lot of forethought going on and even that last one I think yeah it's I, th I think I end up moving it so I will journal behind that photo but it's not nearly enough room for the stories I need to um, share so I might just do some general feelings of that that particular day and I'm just doing my typical strip at the top and bottom I wanted to incorporate a wee bit more of that chalkboard because that chalky black because the frame around the picture isn't you know very bold because the picture's already black and white and I'd needed to incorporate a bit more because in that bottom piece of the die cut it, one of the little colour parts I managed to fit the I love you in in that oblong kind of oval. So I wanted to just incorporate a wee bit more of that darker colour. I do find, I do, um, you know, quite simple pages as you know if you're a subscriber, but I find that when you do something more uh, involved or interesting with the background, like here that die cut, yeah, I, well, I find, <laughs> I need to do very little else with the page. Like I might spend a wee bit of time thinking about that and working on that, but then all the other elements are really simple and it comes together really fast. And I've always found that. So if I have a busier background, I don't need to really embellish that much. Some people do both and that's cool, but um, I find that it's one or the other. Like if it's a really simple background, then I like to add a wee bit more and if it's a busier background then I like to add virtually nothing. And that wee love sticker that is from a mind's, my mind's eye sheet. <laughs> There's another thing my friend gave me for my girls and then I used it. <laughs> anyway, we won't worry about that. So that just kind of says, it says love and that was just kind of close enough tone. Now I haven't actually stuck that down, but a bit of the foam has, um, they're not perfectly cut of course, the background pieces, so a bit of the foam was was holding on. And I'm just taking all the backing off my tape and putting it in my trusty pickle jar. I know, it's a very, very fancy looking rubbish bin, I know. I love the uh, depth, uh, a die cut piece with the foam. I, I know that it looks a bit crazy having all that foam on the back and a couple of my friends have told me about that, about when, I, when they turn something over that I put foam on, they're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> the whole thing is covered in foam. But I love the, the depth it gives and I don't like it to be, if it gets a little bit squashed, I don't like it to have sunken down at all. I like it to maintain its shape. So I like the like, firmer foams. You see, look, this is pretty much the few elements I started with like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I'm not sure. What have we been doing all this time? Not a lot. <laughs> anyway. So I'm looking for something. I don't know what that is. Oh, I know what it is. It's that little love sticker. Uh, when I took it all up to adhere it down properly, it fell on the floor and I couldn't find it. I thought it had gone in the bin, in my big bin, but it hadn't. It was just 
it was upside down on the floor and I couldn't see it. So I rescued that. And this wee piece here, just a piece from the Polka Dot Party die cuts, says today was made, I think it says today was. I can't make it out from the small picture I have to look at. Um, yeah, I think it says today was magical. And I thought that was awesome. And I'm trying to figure out which piece of my face to cover up there. <laughs> uh, and then there's just one of those wee epoxy elements too from the epoxy sheet. I think that says celebrate. Uh, my apologies, I don't have the page in here with me. Now these, these pieces here are from the 6x6 page. And there is a 12x12 sheet of this too. But I find these wee frames great for just giving things a place to sit. So that uh, love little tab just looked a bit lonely up there so I've just cut a partial frame and I use these a lot for that and for in the clusters like a layer in a cluster and the colour of them is kind of a hard thing to replicate that kind of uh, kind of cold off-white and then I'm just going to add in this week camera because those cameras are just so cute and I add them on every single page that I do with the polka dot party pretty much and I think I've still got two sheets that I haven't even cut into so they're going to they're going to be on every page for quite a while with anything that could possibly match anything's got that that um, mint in it it's going to go on there and now I'm just going to add a little epoxy heart to that piece of wood grain at the bottom and that's pretty much it <laughs> I'm super simple and need just a few close-ups oh it says me and you that little epoxy my apologies I thought it said celebrate so that is the page thanks for watching and coming by today and I will hopefully be back soon